Launched on the 20th of July, 2020, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, Blaseball is, on the surface, a free browser game. It's a bare-bones baseball simulator in which players are nothing more than a name and an assortment of numbers. Fans in the real world participate by placing bets, watching simulated games, and at the end of every in-game season, voting on decrees that change the rules of the league. But Blaseball hasn't really been a baseball simulator since the end of Season 1, when fans elected to open the Forbidden Book. Blaseball is a horror game, and it's not surprising that its narrative spoke to people at a time when real life had become its own horror. Players are just going to die. There's no way to prevent it. People are going to have their blood sucked. They're going to have allergic reaction to peanuts that, that absolutely demolished their ability to play the sport that they were meant to play. In a world where you are right now, even before the pandemic, the world is so, it, the odds are stacked against you. But also with horror, you know, there's, there's ability to band together. The game band, the developers of Blaseball, have been nominated for numerous awards, including the Nebula Award for Best Game Writing. And the game itself continues to expand as new, absurd mechanics and even teams are added to the league. But for me and many other fans, what makes Blaseball Blaseball isn't something that exists within the sim itself. While the pandemic limited opportunities for safe in-person connection, Blaseball quickly developed a passionate online community one that would use its creativity to transform the game it loved into something bigger. People are isolated and alone, often depressed. There's studies of like lockdown loneliness becoming like a huge thing. People are seeking kind of a, a community of togetherhood, um, a community where they can like feel validated for their participation in it. And what better way to do that than to make a game where participating in the community is immediately validated by like putting all the unlimited tacos into peanuts. I think that as context providers, the game band is doing this amazing thing where it's transforming its community and participation into the community as a mechanic of the game. And there's a level to which that idea is, can, is resonant with people. Blaseball's developers reward participation in creative thinking, and often respond to what the community is doing in the game. As a result, the Blaseball community is incredibly active. Blaseball's tentacles are out there grabbing people of different backgrounds, and as you see by the different kinds of art, you have people who are musicians. So oh, great, we're going to have you know an album drop every week of unique art that celebrate uh, unique music that celebrates the community and all the events that are happening. You know, and we're constantly fed with beautiful music. Uh, it's amazing. Then you have all these these artists uh, from people who are just beginning to learn to to people who draw on commission regularly. And boy, is Blaseball a great source of uh, inspiration because you have all these characters who are just words on a page with numbers and maybe a quick blurb of what kind of coffee they like. When did you join Blaseball and why did you decide to join? Before the world got locked down. Uh, I was, hopefully still am, an improviser, uh, an actor, so those are the way I uh, express myself. I suddenly have my network of friends and way to connect ripped out from under me. And then suddenly Blaseball comes in, and they're both very positive communities. During the pandemic, we can't really see each other, so I started exploring uh, Twitch, and I thought, I'm going to focus on one game. I'm going to focus on the Boston Flowers. Whoever they're playing, I'm going to call it live. Uh, and then that kind of took off. People started watching, which was an amazing thing. Blaseball is one of the kindest fandoms that I know, and that leads to some pretty magical things. That creates more collaboration, and in any sense, in any art form or any community, more collaboration is always better. The level of creativity that's there in the community is infused deep in its bones. You, you contribute something into the community, and then the community takes so much of it and transforms it into a life of its own. How did Blaseball Cares first come about as a project? Blaseball Cares started as a group chat, as many things in the Blaseball community do. We all got together and we were like, okay, let's take my logo, let's take your branding, and let's put it on a Shopify website and then sell it and donate all the proceeds to charity. And then some people started asking us if they could put their designs on t-shirts. And then we did that. And all of a sudden we had to start a Discord server and then all of a sudden there were hundreds of people in the Discord server. We see 
conflict in the world. We see it being perpetuated and we want to do something about it. During the pandemic, I think I was finding it difficult to find things to um, contribute to. Once I understood how Blazeball Cares works, I was like, oh, okay, these are my people. This is how I can do this. Um, I'm a designer in my day job, but it's always much more fun for me to design something that we actually get to hold at the end of the day. I also sort of lost touch with one of my other creative outlets during the pandemic because it required meeting in person to, to, to do. Um, so this has really filled that niche and kept me busy in a way that feels really important. We have a, a, another show that we do every week on Tuesday nights called Blittle League, uh, which is a tabletop RPG set in the baseball universe that follows a bunch of 10 year olds uh, solving um, you know, mysteries and feeling real feelings. It, it just gives that positive, you know, those positive things to look forward to, that positive reinforcement that, you know, the world's a crappy place, but there's some bright spots to it that you can rely on. Blazeball has helped me recover, like, pieces of my personality, especially the pieces of my personality that exist outside of the day-to-day -day labor that I have to do as part of, like, a day job or part of school things that help me define who I am. I also think that it's given me a community. I mean, personally, that's one of my biggest like things it, to be happy is to be in a place where I belong. And so I'm in Blaseball Cares, I'm with my friends, the Pandemonium Artists, I'm with my friends, the Moist Talkers. Probably the lesson I would take away from all of this, especially from Blaseball Cares, is that if you wanna make something truly incredible, you need a community. There is no right or wrong way to place ball. And every part of the community that I've found has been pretty welcoming. Like this is this is just who we are. We we are kind of weird, um, very compassionate, and endlessly creative. For people who are interested in getting involved mm -hmm. with the community, do you have any advice that you would give them? Yeah, totally. Make something and see where it leads you. The community will love what you put in as long as you're showing your love for Blazeball at the same time. If you want to be a part of the community, you are part of it. People are always been so encouraging and I tell them, the viewers and the people in chat regularly, that that's why I do it because it's, it's the people enjoying it. I don't know how long Blazeball will go. I don't know how long Blazeball Cares will go, but it is a truly amazing thing to see. And I am, I am so proud of everyone that, that helps make it happen. I haven't been in the Blaseball community as long as Jasmine or Q or Joey, but I do think Blaseball fans have a lot to be proud of. As we near the end of the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm hopeful that Blaseball will continue to drive creativity and provide a supportive community for those who need it. There have never been more ways to participate in this cultural event we call Blaseball. And I'm so, so excited to see what the community creates next.